If you love accessorising your car, it's worth knowing how to join wires correctly. Let's run over everything you need to know in less time than it takes to drink a cuppa. First up, let's learn about crimping, not to be mistaken for crumping. It's a useful way to make electrical connections which can easily be separated later. Here's what you'll need. A crimping tool, crimp terminals and a wire stripper. Ring terminals, blade terminals and bullet terminals are your most common crimp connectors. Ring terminals come in a variety of sizes, while blade and bullet terminals are available in male and female variants. The red, blue and yellow colouring tells you which wire each will suit. Red is the smallest, suited to wire from 2.5 to 3mm diameter. Blue crimp terminals will fit 4 to 5mm wire, yellow ones are good for 5 to 6mm. Step 1. Grab your wire strippers and take about 1cm of insulation off the end of your wire. Use your fingers to twist this nice and tight to avoid fraying. Step 2. Look at your crimp tool. See how the jaws are colour coded? Position your crimp terminal in the appropriate jaws, then poke the bared wire end into the crimp terminal. Poke it in just far enough so that none of the bared section sits outside of the insulation, but not so far that none of the bared wire connects to the crimping area. For step 3, just squeeze the crimp tool and give the wire a gentle tug to ensure it's firmly locked in. Done! Well, that was super easy. Now for joining and splicing wires, let's talk about soldering. Here's what you'll need. A wire stripper, a soldering iron, some solder, a heat gun or mini blowtorch, heat shrink and some electrical tape. Step 1. To join two wires, strip about a centimetre of insulation from the end of each wire. Slip a 3 centimetre piece of heat shrink over the wire and push it at least 10 centimetres from where your join will be. Now make a cross with the bared ends and twist them together. If you're splicing into an existing wire, just use the strippers to bear a section in the insulation and twist the stripped end of your new wire around this. Step two is the fun bit. The soldering iron will need a couple of minutes to heat up. You know it's ready when a touch of solder produces a puff of smoke. Now apply a dab of solder to the tip. This is called tinning. Hold the tinned area of your soldering iron to the wire joint for a few seconds. Then gently probe more solder right where the iron meets the joint. You may need something to hold the wire steady. The solder should flow through the joint. If it doesn't melt or it pulls on top like this, allow the iron to apply heat for a little longer and try again. Use only as much heat as required for the solder to flow. Too much will cause the solder to flow too far and damage the wire insulation. Step three, once the solder join has cooled, slip the heat shrink over the join and use the heat gun or blowtorch to shrink it in place and insulate the join. If you've spliced a wire, use quality electrical tape to insulate the join instead. And that's it. With a bit of practice at the workbench, this set of skills will help you fit accessories that last. Find detailed instructions and more videos to help you make it super at Super Cheap Auto's Super DIYs.